today we're going to draw Cindy Lou Who from The Grinch. So I'm going to start off only about a third of the way down my paper today, so not quite half. So if you go halfway down it and go up. That's where we're going to start by drawing her nose. So what we're going to do is draw a very small little half circle there. And then we're going to draw an even smaller half circle underneath. And then we're going to connect those with really tiny half circles. So from there, what we're going to do is draw in her smile. So underneath her nose, let's draw a smile that's a little bit, it's got a little bit more on the right side of the drawing than the left side because we're go she's going to be facing this direction. So we'll see more of this side of her. So put a little curve, goes under like so. And then we're going to put little curves there at the end for her cheeks. So from there, we're going to go in, we're going to draw her eyes. So, kind of a tall oval on the right side, and her eyes are really big inside there, so. And her eyeballs are completely blue the last, uh, when I looked at it, so. They fill up a lot of her eye. So, a little bit smaller, skinnier oval there on the left side. And again, a little line for her eyeball from there. And then we're gonna go in there and uh, make some eyelashes. So she had really big eyelashes, so we're gonna kinda, kinda curve out, go to a point and come back. And I'm gonna give really thick black eyelashes to her. So, same thing on the left, curve out and come back, curve out and come back, curve out and come back. And I colored them in as I went. So we're going to go in and put her eyebrows in there as well. And they're really thin little eyebrows. So you could get away with just making two little semi-curved lines right up there. Whoops. So from there, what we want to do is go in and let's see, I think from here... What we're going to do is draw in her, we're going to draw in her hair, because once we get her hair in, we can, we can sort of finish in the shape of her entire head. So, right here above her eyebrows, we're going to start by drawing a few little curves that are going to come back to a point. Curve out, come back to a point. And then I'm going to get a little longer the closer I get to her right side, a little curve and come back, and a little curve and come back. And then her last one, what I'm going to do is do a pretty long one. Maybe Santa here. Curve out like that. Now what we're going to do this different is we're not going to come back. We're actually going to go up here and we're going to make one that crosses over like so. And then between there, and come back. Put one line between. Then from this area right here, we're almost where they cross. I'm gonna go a little bit over here. I'm gonna put some lines that go down a little bit, like so, in a curve. I'm gonna go past her mouth. And then I'm going to go down to a curve into the point, and then I'm going to bring it back up and stop. So then go back down here. Start another little point from next to the original one. Come down, go back up and stop. Kind of in the middle of, of nothing right there. Okay, then what I need to do is go in and connect this point of her head all the way around to here. So what we're going to do is start from here and I'm gonna go pretty round 
because this is the back of her head, basically, and then it turns into the top of her head. So going around there, going down, coming down, and stopping just a little bit short of the point right there. Okay, so this part here could be a little bit tricky depending on how you want to go about it, but where we stopped right there, I'm going to go up to that last little point of hair right here. And what I'm going to do is draw a curve down and connect those right there. And then I'm going to kind of lightly curve it out. When I get to her eye, I'm going to curve it in a little bit. I'm going to come back out again very, very lightly, not, not big, heavy curves, and come out. As we get to her cheek, we'll continue to come out, go around the cheek, kind of at this point we're mimicking the shape of her mouth, down there about when we're directly under the nose, we'll start curving back up, and what we're going, what the goal is, is to try to make it look like this, if it continued under those, if it continued over those two pieces of hair right there, would meet up with that. So, the shape of the face is a little bit of a tricky thing for a lot of people to draw. Everyone's face generally looks the same, but we have different features. Some of us have heavier faces, lighter faces, thinner faces, shorter faces, wider faces. So, it's, it's uh, for, for little kids, uh, we try to put as few corners on them as possible. The softer they are, the cuter the kids will look if we're drawing those. Okay, so let's go in and go ahead and finish out her head here. So what we're going to do up here towards the back, I'm just going to put a couple of triangles. It can be kind of curvy triangles for bows in her hair. Going to go to the right side, or sorry, the left side. I just did the right side. Go to the left side, do the same sort of thing. We're going to give over here going to come out with a couple of little curves to a point and come back so we see some of the hair that's on the other side of her head and then what we're going to do is going to put her antenna so let's put two lines from the back of her head that go straight out they don't have points straight up but they're straight lines and then from each one we want to make a few little curly cues that end in a big hook like that so one, two, three, and there we go. So there is Cindy Lou Who's head. So the next thing we want to do, you, you might think we're going to draw her body next, but we're not. What we're going to do is draw in this big ornament that she's going to be holding, and the ornament will help us put the pieces of her body into place. So uh, let's go to where the bottom of her head is, let's move over a good bit and let's draw a pretty big sized circle. In fact, I'd say this circle should be about the same size as her head. So, you know, you got her head that big, circle is just about the same size. So it's better to go bigger on this rather than smaller but either one will work. Remember, this is how you draw Cindy Lou Who. It looks a bit like her. It should be able to, to resemble her, but it's, it's not going to be exactly like her. It's going to be your interpretation of her. Okay, so let's go to the top, and what we're going to do is put a couple of straight lines at the top of that circle, and then curve them over, like so. And then from the middle of that, we want to put a little line. It can be wiggly. It goes straight up with a circle at the end. And then from that circle, we want to make a line. This line can be really wavy if you want. It's the hook on the ornament, so I'm coming down in front of the big circle we made. Coming down and kind of spiraling it in there to form the hook. Now I want to make it look like it's actually connected up here, so I'm going to go in and add a few little p uh, circles like so. Okay, so from here, we need to put Cindy's arms holding it, so really easy. On the left side here, we're going to put three little bitty ovals in place. That's her left hand. 
So on here, same sort of thing, three little bitty stretched out ovals for her right hand. Okay, so this is what's going to determine where everything else on Cindy is. So from, we're gonna start from here, we're gonna draw out, eventually end up connecting it to the head. So from her hand here, we wanna put these little kind of puffy half circles that's the the lace at the end of her sleeve right here. Okay, so then what we wanna do from here, we're gonna give it a little bit more up here to connect to. So let's go in underneath Cindy's chin, draw a couple of small curved lines for her neck, and then connect them together like that. And then what we wanna do is just like the lace on her sleeve, she's got lace on her neck. So we wanna bring that around till we find that ornament there. We wanna do the other side till we find the ornament there. So then what we're going to do is connect those two pieces of lace with one big curved line like so. Okay, then let's go back down to the bottom of her arm here. We're gonna kind of draw this wide shape at the top. It gets thin down here at the bottom. Same sort of thing on the other side. We're gonna go to what would be her left side, and that which is behind the ornament. It starts out wide and then comes in like so. We're gonna connect those down there. And then we're going to give the same little poofy lace there at the end, going all the way around, connecting the left side and the right side, leaving that little gap there for her legs. Okay, that finishes us up on Cindy Lou Who. Let's go ahead and finish that out by signing your name to your artwork. Hopefully we see you next time. Thanks for drawing with me today. You can subscribe to my newsletter to get more art fun. Just go to brianmaysart.com slash newsletter. And I'd love to see what you drew. Share it on Facebook or Instagram and be sure to tag Brian Mays Art so I can find it. See you next time.